Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I know it's been a long time, no talk. I was taking a little bit of a break as I posted on the community tab, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, as usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Capricorn. It will not resonate with every Capricorn cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. If you're interested in those, email me. There is a wait list. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. Shuffle the cards really good. What's going on with my Capricorns? What's going on with my Capricorns? Eight of Pentacles. You guys been working a lot? Wouldn't be too um, outlandish for a Capricorn. Working on something. Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. The Star. You guys have been working on healing. Yeah, you guys are making strides and leaps and healing. That's what it is. Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. Ooh, there's about to be a breakthrough for you guys. It's like something that was holding you back. Something that was a blockage for you is being cleared here. Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups. It's like you guys maybe like were feeling like maybe you were missing out on something or that you had missed an opportunity. Or maybe like your indeci indecisiveness about something was maybe going to make you, you, you weren't recognizing that something was being offered to you or that something was right in your face. All right, that, that something like a golden opportunity. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Six of Cups in reverse. You're releasing, releasing something from your past. I feel like you guys were like heavily invested in something that left, left you feeling very defeated. Or it like was, you were very invested in something, but you were very conflicted about it, if that makes sense. Like, you weren't you weren't at peace with the situation. You were still very heavily invested in it, but it was like there, things weren't like um, things were very up in the air in a situation, or there was a lot of conflict in that situation. But you could you really couldn't find your way out of it. You were very conflicted, or you were very still much invested in something that was like leaving you very conflicted. Some of you guys could have for some of you it could have been a pregnancy. Like you guys were maybe like stuck on somebody that you had a chilled child with, or that you were pregnant by. That's just for a small majority of you, okay? Um, small majority a small bit of you <laughs> um but i feel like you guys are about to have a breakthrough like you're finally gonna get through something that's been holding you back like you're gonna have a like you're gonna finally be releasing something that was holding you back something that was you were very indecisive about Six of Cups in reverse. Yes, yeah, you're no longer trying to work something out with somebody. You're no longer trying to meet somebody halfway. Make something work, okay? Queen of Wands. Five of, this is maybe somebody that had a third party or they were giving to a third party and they were not, that's why they were like leaving you out in the cold or they weren't giving you what you deserved. Or Spirit is saying that they want you to know your worth, okay? They want you to know that this is like, it's like you guys are finally seeing that a situation is not able to give you what you need or what you want, deserve. Strength. Two of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing with a um, an Aquarius or an Aries and Leo. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, somebody from your past maybe tried to like make amends here. Said that they had stepped up for you. But I feel like that they wanted to maybe settle down with you. But why do I feel like this person didn't, it, they didn't deserve you or something here. Like it wouldn't have been just as served for you and this person to come together. Spirit is saying that this needed to come to an end. Hmm. 
All right, let's get some more clarity. Hmm, this is what I want to take a look at. Don't use this deck. You know what? I'm not going to use this one yet. Because I don't want to, like, just completely steer this in the direction of love yet. I want to see... Hold on. We're going to use a different deck. If love comes out, it comes out. Eight of Pentacles. What is being worked on here? Some of you guys are working on not giving a, a giving a, I don't want to, I was going to cuss, but you guys are working on not caring what people think about you. Not letting other people influence you as much. Focusing more on what you want, what's best for you, and not focusing on what's best for other people. Not maybe some of you guys had a people pleasing issue, or you know, maybe not, um, you just you know, putting all your energy towards other people and not putting enough energy into yourself. Yeah, like some of you guys are givers, yeah, and you have been dealing with a lot of takers. The star, yeah, it's like you guys have been dealing with somebody. You guys need to really take some time out for you because I feel like you guys have been doing pouring into people. Pouring into people that really don't, that didn't pour into you. Doing too much for people that wouldn't do the same for you, okay? You guys had to kind of sit your butts down a little bit, okay? And realize like, you know what? I need to take some time for me. I need to make sure I'm making myself a priority too because these people don't make me a priority. I need to make me a priority. Ace of Swords. Doing too much for other people. When other, you know, for people that wouldn't do the same for you or that don't pour back into you. Insta famous. Something's about to come to light here. Something's about to get. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. You're about to get some type of recognition here. Or you guys are about to make a very big, like, like a lot of progress in like a transformation that you've been going through. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's because you're realizing that something that like something was blocking you. It looks it says a relationship situation is dying, conversation went dead, can't resurrect, lost interest. And it says in their feelings. Caught up in your feelings, letting emotions control you, emotional deep feelings. So it's like you guys were letting some type of situation that you had an emotional investment in control you. It was leaving you very conflicted, it was leaving you very confused. Well, that situation is no longer going to be leaving you confused and conflicted anymore. You're no longer going to have that situation influencing your decisions or, you know, it's not going to influence you anymore. It's not going to have power over you anymore. Okay. I feel like the situation is finally going to be done and over with for you. And it's no longer going to have a hold on you. All right. I feel like you guys are finally like. It's like you guys are going through a transformation here. And it's like as you transform, you don't want the things that you did in the past. You don't want this relationship anymore. It's finally going to, you're finally going to close out this cycle. But I want to get more information on what's this, who's going to be giving you some recognition? What's this Insta famous energy? Tendering. Oh, some of you guys are going to have a lot of suitors. A lot of people wanting to date you. A lot of people giving you attention. Okay. Um, some of you guys are going to be like getting a lot of attention on a dating app or something here, but I see a lot of people wanting to date you, pursue you, okay? Two of Pentacles. You got, And that's like maybe now you guys are going to be more open to it because you're finally releasing this person that was leaving you conflicted. You guys are maybe stuck on somebody and it you were so stuck on that person that you were like maybe not recognizing other opportunities and other people, all right? But now you're finally releasing that person, okay? So now you're going to be looking at these new opportunities coming towards you differently, all right? More open to them, all right? You're letting your guard down. All right. I feel like this past situation was leaving you very guarded. All right. Um, yeah. Two of Pentacles. Like you were still holding on to that person because you maybe felt like there was still potential there. You maybe thought that like maybe like, you know, you were like you had a fear of releasing something that you thought maybe could blossom into something that had a lot of potential for you or it was a, an opportunity for you. What is shook?
What is this? You, you it's like maybe I feel like you guys are about to really surprise yourselves. Like, I feel like you're gonna, like, maybe this is somebody that you thought you were never gonna be able to get over. You thought you were never gonna get over the situation, but you're about to get over it. And I feel like you're gonna surprise yourself. I feel like you're gonna be looking at, if this is a person, you're gonna be looking at them differently. You're not, you're gonna be seeing them like, diff, like in a different light. I feel like for a lot of you, you guys are just very bitter over this past person. This person really did something to you that this person just left you very unsettled they did something dirty to you i don't know what they did but they did something that you maybe weren't expecting or that just left you very unsettled very like you you've been trying to heal from it but you just haven't quite been able to let this person go or what they did to you go um like you were still holding on to them to, to some degree but it's like you're going to be looking at things differently now um you're going to be seeing that you know it's good that you and this person didn't work out it's you know you're going to be grateful that you you know you and this person didn't come together or you didn't marry this person. You didn't have a kid with this person. You're going to realize that it, it was a very lucky break. Um, yeah, that it was a good thing that you and this person didn't work out. Okay. You didn't miss out on anything. Four of cups, shipping and the texture. Yeah. It's like, and what's this mean for my Capricorns? Yeah. It's like somebody's going to be reaching out to you saying that they want to be in a relationship with you, that they want to be together uh with you they're gonna reach out to you like a text message or something like they're gonna reach out to you and communicate this in some way all right but what i'm seeing here is that you guys are no longer going to feel the same way about this person i see that you guys are going to be very closed off to this or you guys are going to be very resistant to this all right you're going to not be able to feel like you can trust this person you're going to feel like they're trying to butter you up they're going to be trying to persuade you um use you that they're a liar you're not going to feel like you can trust this person and seven of you kind of feel like this person's a little bit too much. Like the way that they're coming towards you is kind of a, like a little bit unsettling to you. Um, what about the seven of pinnacles though? Some of you guys have maybe been waiting for this person to communicate with you. Whatever this person's coming towards you and saying, it just isn't going to woo you, okay? Like, it's not going to be, you're just not going to be phased by this person anymore. They just don't have that same hold over you like they used to. Like, you're, they're going to come towards you. They could be saying some nice things. They could be saying they want to commit to you. They want to be with you. But you're just not, it's not going to have the same effect on you as it would have in the past, okay? Because this person doesn't have that hold on you anymore. You're in the process of trans, uh, transition, transforming moving into the next phase of your life and i feel like this person's maybe like something that needs to be left in the past you know what I mean? or that's how you're going to feel like you feel like that's part of your old life you know this person's not sh should not be brought into your new life or like you just don't vibe with this person anymore you don't you're not attracted to them anymore like you, you know you're kind of just like well why like that was my old self you know what i mean like now that i'm ascending i'm becoming you know i'm leveling up i'm coming into a higher vibration i just don't feel the same way about this person anymore five of swords yeah I see you and this person like have had like a lot of tiffs, a lot of arguments, a lot of fights. Yeah, I see you and this person possibly getting in an argument. Like you see them coming back. I see they're possibly causing some a conflict between you and this person. This person, like you took a break from this person or they took a break from you and like somebody's gonna be realizing that they really messed up by feeling like they needed to like take, you know, create some space between the two of you because now you don't want them or something here. Yeah, it's like you, they gave you some space or you gave them some space. But during that time, you had an awakening. You saw things clear about this person. You saw things clear about the situation. This is what's going to happen in the future. And you see the true reality. You see this person for who they truly are. And you don't really like it anymore. You don't really or you're just not attracted to it anymore. All right. So if they were like, you know what, I need a break. All right, cool. But now they want to come back. You don't feel the same way about them, okay? You you don't you don't trust this person. You feel like you you very much doubt them and their abilities. You doubt what they're saying to you, okay? Um, this person th thought that they still maybe had a hold on you, but they're about to realize um, that that's not the case. And I don't see that you trust this person at all. Um, this person's gonna realize that things are over between you and this person, like. This person maybe had this situation maybe had no closure at some point. 
this person could have ghosted you or things are maybe left off really weird between you and this person but they're about to come back around and it's going to become very clear to you and very clear to them that this is just something that's a done deal you know i feel like this is going to maybe come to a closure all right so let's see what else Can you tell me about this situation we have go slow take time to get to know each other we both know i am not the one for you so this person was maybe wanting to take things very slow with you they were like wanting to like they were trying to control the situation i feel like they were trying to control the pace at what this relationship went at i feel like they maybe took things a little too slow and now you don't want them anymore or they wanted to like they're very closed off for a long time now they want to come back and be open. Now you don't feel the same way about them, okay? We both know I'm not the one for you. It's like this person's coming to the realization here that once they come back and talk to you that, you know, you guys are just probably not meant to be together. I am afraid to contact you. They've been afraid to talk to you. They like the way that you make them feel though, all right? Um, this could also be a case of maybe, all right, let's see. Maybe more about, wait, the timing is not quite right. Denial. Yeah, maybe you thought the timing was off for you and this person. And so you were kind of to some degree waiting on them. All right. But Spirit is saying that you were in denial and you needed to, there needed to be some space between you and this person so that you could see that they weren't the one for you. When in the past, you probably thought this was the end all be all for you. But you and this person needed to spend some time apart and to really put things into perspective. And I feel like it was especially for you so that you can see that this person wasn't the right one for you. It's like they're coming back towards you saying they want to be more than friends. Um, I'm not saying that there wasn't love between you and this person, but it's like, I don't react when people mention you. This person tries to keep you a secret regret. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. They do feel bad for what they did to you, but yeah, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. You guys are on the same page. You don't have the same vision for the future. or want the same things for the future. I wish I could share my good news with you. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, this, I told you a very emotionally closed off person. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, they were wearing masks. This person was very immature. I know that I crossed the line with you. I'm becoming a better person. It's like you have triggered this person to really want to work on themselves, but I just still feel like you and this person are just not meant to be together. I feel like the timing just wasn't quite wasn't right for us. And retreat. Time alone in nature will help you recharge. And I can't stop thinking about you. Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need re revisiting. You are the best thing in my life. So somebody's realizing your worth after there's some distance put between the two of you. But I feel like you don't feel the same way about this person anymore. And I feel like they're going to come back and realize that, you know, about that, that about you, that you don't feel the same way. And it's maybe going to be like, you know, we, I don't think we can make this work. You know, my Capricorn doesn't feel that way about me anymore. Yes, I'm trying to be better, but, you know, we can't, you know, the past has happened. It has caught the damage has been done. It's like that kind of energy. I don't know. So let's see what else. We have happiness. We have a dice. What's up here with Capricorn? Sadness. Okay. Single life. Yeah, I feel like children. Playfulness. Owls. Love offer. Yeah. Rare gift. Hmm. What does this love offer mean for this connection that's coming through? Surviving. Yeah, I feel like you guys maybe have somebody, you know what's happening here? It's like one connection is dying because you guys may have somebody new coming in here or somebody new has already come in here. 
I feel like you guys got to the point where you're like, I deserve to be happy or you're going to get to that point. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to like put myself out there. This person was your comfort zone. Okay. This past person was your comfort zone. I see you guys getting out of that comfort zone, putting yourselves out there again. I see that this person caused you a lot of disappointment. You didn't want to have to move on from this person, but you did what you had to do. All right. So I see you guys and I feel like you guys are, are going to start embracing that single life or you guys are already embracing that single life being apart from this person maybe focusing on your children what's the children card here for yeah spirit says that this is like this situation is trying to bring to the surface something about like your inner child issues like this relationship that you found yourself in stemmed from maybe some like something that happened from your childhood like you got you found yourself in a situation that was less than you deserved because you needed to really, this is supposed to bring to your attention that you really need to work on your inner child, healing your inner child. Your relationships are heavily affected or the people that you, you find yourselves in relationships with is heavily affected by your childhood. All right. And I feel like there's something here about that. Something happened in your childhood that affected your self image, caused you to have some issues with insecurity. It took hits to your confidence. And I feel like you're got you're maybe realizing that now or you're going to realize that but I feel like feel like there's like one connection that's dying out because there's a new one that's coming in like it's like as this new one gets closer or things get more deeper and deeper in this other connection this other one is dying okay this this connection is barely hanging on and I feel like it's going to come to a closure Spirit says they really want you to also try to make more time to enjoy your life have fun not all work and you know no play try to make time to play okay um, but this is like this past situation with this person is like a very difficult lesson. Like it was, it, it was a very hard situation that you went through, but you're going to realize that it was stemming from inner child wounds. Okay. Um, but this old connection is definitely dying out here. Yeah. You're in a transitional period. You're like, you're, it's like you're, you're moving from that one connection or that life that person that you were that would attract that kind of person or that was with that person and you're transitioning into this new life that's attracting this new love offer. All right. So what else can you tell me spirit about this leadership? Yeah, this is all a lesson in self-worth, knowing your worth and you needed to use logic over emotion. Like, cause I definitely see that your emotions for this person was like kind of clouding your judgment or clouding like the reality of the situation. You maybe could, you maybe had such deep feelings or strong feelings for this person that you weren't able to see that this person was not the one for you. They were not able to give you what you deserved. You guys wouldn't be able to make things work. There were some circumstances in your life, circumstances in their life that was going to make this not be able to come together, but you just had such strong feelings for them. You, you were unable to see it at some point. Okay. So yeah, Sierra says this was a lesson and also sometimes you have to use logic over emotion. And this was one of those cases. Yes, and listen to your intuition as well because I feel like your intuition was always trying to show you the truth of the situation, but maybe you weren't seeing it. It's like you were you were thinking that this was a golden opportunity. You thought that this was true love between you and this person. You thought you were never going to find this again in another person. But what it actually was was toxicity, that you needed to purge this situation. This was a dead-end relationship and you couldn't see it. It was disguised as a pink diamond, okay? Your, your emotions were making you see this these strong, intense emotions that you had for this person were making you see it as a pink diamond. Like you thought it was rare, you thought you were never going to find it again. But what it actually was, was a very toxic situation that you needed to purge from your life. Okay. It was like you were looking at this person in the situation through rose colored glasses. All right. So let's see, what else do I want to take a look at here? I am going to take this over to the extended reading guys. I want to take a look to see, um, I want to take a look to see like what the future holds. I definitely feel like you have new love coming in here. See what's going to manifest for you. All right, give me four cards. We have life surfing. It's like now you guys maybe thought, like I said, it was like this energy. You thought you would never get over this person. But Spirit says like now you guys feel like you are capable of letting somebody go finally. And that's manifesting a lot of happiness for you here. Honoring the process. Yes, this was like a process. It's old breaking down and new and coming. Yes, that's what I'm saying. All that crap from the past is fading. It's it's coming to an end. 
And now all this newness is coming in for you. And it's because you guys have really been working on yourselves. You're releasing an attachment of a past person here. You're no longer going to be attached to them. Because that, and it, you're going to realize that that was blocking you from true love. It was blocking you from this love offer from coming in. It was blocking you from a lot of things coming in. It was stagnating you. Inspired action. Take action when feel desire. Follow intuition, synchronicity, supported by the universe. You guys can be seeing a lot of repeating numbers at this time. That spirit is saying that you are doing the right thing in releasing this person. Some of you guys may be feeling that urge to pursue something new or put yourselves out there or something like now that you're releasing this person. Fear says follow that. You know what I mean? Listen to that. Oops. And then we have the crab that's wanting to show itself. Yeah, it's like you guys were holding on to something that you needed to release. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's like trust versus allow. It says trust allow versus cling and control. Yeah, you were like not you needed to just give this situation to the divine. You were holding on to something. You were refusing to least release something like holding on too tightly to something that wasn't meant for you. You're still going to going to have that 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 relationship that you want. You're still going to have that life that you want, but it's just maybe not going to be with this person. And that's what Spirit says. You needed to like change your perspective, be a little bit more open minded because you guys are very much clinging to the thought of that this was your person. You were going to end up with them. You were going to have kids with them. You guys were going to end up getting married. But now you're like, you know what? Maybe it's not this person. Maybe I don't think they're the one for me at all. Or you know what? I don't know what the future holds, but I'm just going to give it to the divine. And what I need to be focusing on at this time is me, you know? So I want to see what's coming in, like what you guys can expect for the future. All right. After this situation comes to a closure, see if any new love is coming in. I want to see um, what you guys are manifesting, uh, you know, just what you guys are manifesting, get you guys some advice um get some timing about certain things that come through if spirit will allow if you're interested in that the link will be in the description box um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe you can take something from this reading uh personal readings are open email me if you're interested in that there is a wait list and don't forget to like and or follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok if you're interested in collective readings you can find the links in the description box but other than that i hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and i'll talk to you soon bye